I have so many questions in so little time. First of all, is there a sequel coming out of this? It kind of leaves us hanging at the end of the book, really, and in the movie. Nobody knows. <laughs> no one's asked you to do it, and you haven't felt required to do well, it. Well, you know, I, I, I've never done a sequel, and I've always thought that probably I shouldn't in terms of a book, you know, whether it's a movie sequel is another question. But I've got so many letters from kids saying, what about the sequel, that it's inevitable that in, in answering all the letters, saying, I've never done a sequel, and I don't know, but you end up thinking about it a lot. So, of course, I've been thinking about it. Well, you do leave us hanging. Is that an intention? I mean, consciously, or you just, you know, it was over? You mean the movie? Yeah. No, well, both, I, I think mean, the book, I, was, I reread the last chapters in the book today and reminded myself where that went. And it does kind of, you know, there's... Yeah, it is. I, I, in both cases, I think it's for reasons other than sequel. I mean, Stephen really had a strong feeling he didn't want to destroy the dinosaurs at the end. And... Uh, uh, at first, everyone thought, gosh, I mean, you just leave them there, and then we thought, well, yeah, why not? And um, in the book, the notion that, it, that this wasn't entirely resolved, that it was still unclear, uh, was something I thought that added to the theme. Um, so it was that, those impulses, but yes, it does leave the door open. I wondered about that. Uh, when you saw the movie, yeah, I presume you've seen the completed film, you live with these guys, these dinosaurs in your brain for a long, long time. What did you think when he made them come to life? Were they like you thought they would be, or was it different, or what? Well, I'd seen uh, test footage. I'd seen the animals being constructed. I'd seen some of the dailies, and had been on the set some of the time. So I had very, very high expectations. And I, I didn't really think that the movie would exceed my expectations, but it just, I, I was knocked out. I mean, it was far beyond anything I imagined. That's amazing, isn't it? I mean, and you walk out and you just say, wow. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, you have to certainly give credit to Spielberg, but I guess the stars, again, have to be ILM. These people, uh, George Lucas uh, pay salaries to just do unbelievable things with their imagination. Well, you know, I think it's, I, I really believe, actually, that this is Stephen, because um, in so many cases, this is his conception of how it should be. He's the person who is mixing all the elements together, and... Um, you know, I think he's just done an amazing job. Well, as a man who's good at seeing the future in science fiction and science, I mean, where do we go from this point? I mean, are we going to have 3D never made it? Are we going to be more into virtual reality films where you sit in a film and it somehow does seem like real life? Although I can't imagine it being too much more real life unless you started. I don't know how you could make it any better than this. I guess I'm sure you can, but you have any concept of where we might be going? I think that a lot of these technologies like um, interactivity and virtual reality and so on that everyone's talking about are probably not suited for entertainment. And they're going to have enormous applications in the real world. But I, I think, and, and this movie is a good example of it, people, in order to enjoy it, you need to have some, you know, what they call as aesthetic distance. You need to have some detachment from what you're looking at. And uh, some of the people who have been disturbed by this movie, I think, if I'm trying to understand what's going on with them, they're disturbed because the, it, the dinosaurs are too real, you know? So their brain is saying it can't be true, but their eyes are saying, believe it, it's happening. And it gives you a funny sense. Have you uh, dealt, that reminds me, because I'm kind of irritated at critics right this minute myself, because of the way they beat up Stallone in his movies, and I think Cliffhanger's a, a fun movie, and they've done a good job at pure, you know, popcorn action. What's your temperature on critics and what they do for a living and what they have to say about things and what where they come from most cases I guess that's the problem. Well I'm, I'm not real enthusiastic about critics um, I mean I've, I've sometimes been treated well and sometimes not and I and I'm real interested uh, you know at the because there's been a lot of press discussion about this picture you know I hear on the one hand aren't you upset that Stephen took the all the explicit violence out of the movie and then in the next breath they'll say don't you think the picture is too violent and and at some point I think you know wait a minute what are we doing are we just trying to manufacture controversy I don't really think there's a controversy here I think this is a terrific very exciting movie and just works like gangbusters yeah I don't know that five-year-olds should necessarily run no. out and see it five-year-olds should not see it I think but uh, I mean it's it's a story, and it's you know how could it how could you not have violence in a story of dinosaurs facing man? I mean, Absolutely, it makes no sense. It'd be stupid if right. it didn't make that. What's your next thing? Um, I'm going to do a book. I have done a book about sexual harassment novel. That's that's interesting. That's yes. a little bit away from the Andromeda <laughs> strain. I was in 
That's a step out. Well, I can't wait to All see right. that. I'm sure it's good. Thank Great. you. Thank All you. Right. Great tie. Thank you. <laughs>